right now, it feels pretty special. I mean, that's what we dream our whole life. We started playing a couple of years back and I remember when I played my first slam, it just, it felt like so far for me to have even a chance to compete in a Grand Slam final. You know, and over the years, you know, you just get close and close and all of a sudden, you know, the dream becomes a goal. And then you, you see that you have a real shot when you come to this tournament. And uh, I mean, right now to, to win one just feels amazing. You know, having the chance to serve for it, 5-4 and not, not doing it, then, uh, you know, a few kind of negative thoughts creep into the head. But, uh, you know, thankfully we played a great game to break serve and, uh, and Bruno served that out, uh, served that really good. And Jamie Andy came out, he has a singles final tomorrow against Novak Djokovic, it was after 1am, came out to watch the presentation. What did that mean to you? I was the same at watching him against Raonic. I couldn't go to bed without knowing the knowing the result. It was cool. I mean, I didn't uh, I didn't expect it at all. I mean, I thought he'd gone back to the to the hotel um, quite a long time before we played uh, before we went on for the match. Once we set our goals, London uh, is always number one. You know, because I think when you play in London, it means that you had a great year. So it's all our, our, our first goal. Uh, we know how special it is to end up the year in London. We've both been there before and uh, I think once you played London, you want to come back every year. How will you be celebrating this win tonight? Going to bed, I think. <laughs> right now I'm tired. I think um, it's everything closed yeah. in, in Melbourne right now. You know, just, what time do we go here? 2.10 a.m. Yeah. No party, gotta, gotta have to wait. <laughs>